I'm going to show you how to create the absolute best AI generated videos using Kling AI. I've tested out a lot of different AI video platforms and in my opinion Kling is the best that's out there. But there are some details you need to know in order to generate the highest quality videos with the sharpest details. By the end of this tutorial you'll have a complete workflow for how to create the most cinematic AI videos using Kling. We'll start by logging into Kling AI and heading over to the AI video generator. There's two options here. We can use text to video to create a video from just a text prompt. But to get the highest quality results, you need to use the image to video tool, which generates a video based on image references you upload. I've generated a set of references using Midjourney, inspired by the Black Myth Wukong game, based on Chinese mythology. Let's take a quick detour to see how I did this. First, we'll go to the Midjourney website where we'll head to the Image Creation tab. At the top of the page is a prompt bar where I can describe the image I want. We'll go with a photo of the Monkey King, Son Wukong. I want sharp details and a really realistic looking photo, so I asked for detailed fur and accessories. To get a cinematic shot, I included muted cinematic colors and also for the photo to be shot on Sing Steel film. The aspect ratio is set to 16 to 9 and this dash dash quality 2 parameter is going to give us a little extra texture in the skin and fur. After a few generations, I get this image with the rich details I wanted. Now let's create some enemies for him. I'll use a similar prompt, except I asked for a Chinese fox demon surrounded by flames and sparks. I could go ahead and generate this prompt, but I want to make sure that all the images used in my AI video have the same exact visual style and color grading so that it looks like they belong in the same movie. To do that, let's drag this photo of Wukong into the prompt as an image reference, and then to transfer over the visual style, hover over the image icon and select this paperclip symbol, which is a style reference feature. This prompt will work fine as is, but here's an advanced tip to get even better results. There's this dash dash SW parameter, which controls how strong the style signal from the reference image is. By default, this is 100, but I find that to be way too high. A 100 style weight forces Midjourney to focus almost completely on the style, and it doesn't let us control the prompt as much. Instead, I'll lower this value to 15, which is a healthy balance between transferring over the style while also listening to the prompt. The result is this beautiful image of a fox spirit with flames around her. I'll show the rest of my prompts on the screen. I won't go too into details here, if you want to learn more about prompting in Midjourney, I'll link some prompt guides below. By the way, if you want to create this zoom out effect, which can make for some nice jump cuts in the final video, next to the images, find the editor tool. Then drag this scale slider to control how much you want to zoom out. You can move the original image around inside. The gray area is where Midjourney fills in the rest of the image. So we've finished creating the images in Midjourney, but I want to make sure that we squeeze the absolute maximum amount of quality we can from the AI video generator. To do so, we need to upscale the resolution of our images. The higher resolution and sharper the details we have in our images before putting them through the AI video generator, the better the quality of the results will be. Now you can upscale images in Midjourney, which will work perfectly fine, but I'm actually going to use a different website called Magnific which does a really incredible job at adding in intricate details and textures. It's one of the most popular AI upscalers out there. To use Magnific, make sure the upscaler is selected. Then upload an input image. I'll go with Wukong's face. The scale factor is how much the resolution gets upsampled. I'll just leave it at 2. There are some other parameters. I won't cover all of those here. Scroll down and hit the upscale button. Look at how much detail the upscaler adds to the wrinkles and moles on the face and even the individual strands of hair. Some reflections get added onto his crown. The entire image just looks way sharper and more detailed. Once you've upscaled the image, go ahead and download them to your computer. Now we arrive at the most important part, animating the images and bringing the characters to life using Kling AI. I'm back at the image to video interface. The first step is to upload the reference images. Make sure you are using the upscaled versions. Kling will use this image as the first frame of the video. In the prompt, describe what you want to happen in the video. Think of this like writing a script for a movie. I'll tell Kling to animate an angry expression. And because I don't want too much camera motion, I'll also throw on static camera. 
There's a few parameters. The creativity and relevance slider controls how much the AI follows the prompt. Using the maximum value will follow the prompt very closely and lowering the value will give the AI more creativity. We can leave that in the middle for now. Then we have the generation mode. Standard mode generates much faster and is cheaper to use. But I highly recommend using professional mode. It's going to do a much better job at preserving all the little details from the original image. And it's going to give us that extra bit of super realistic quality. You can choose a 5 or 10 second video. I typically leave this at 5 seconds. The longer the videos get, the less consistent the AI becomes and it can lead to some deformations or the shapes of your characters changing. Then just scroll to the bottom and generate the video. Kling AI is absolutely amazing at generating these realistic looking videos and keeping the quality high. It follows the prompt better than other AI video platforms I've tried and the motions are dynamic. Here's a few prompt tips. Kling sometimes generates too much motion which can cause your subjects to change their shapes. Instead, use words that encourage smaller more subtle motions which will preserve the shapes of your characters. You can try animating larger movements, but this can cause the anatomy to look weird, and I found that smaller more subtle movements work a lot better. If you find videos change shape too much, try using keywords like subtle motion, static camera, slowly. I'll show the rest of the prompts I used here. Kling doesn't always follow the prompts exactly. The AI is imperfect, but using the tips I gave you will let you create some really amazing looking videos. Don't forget that it's an iterative process. Running the same prompt different times produces different results. Sometimes it just takes a few tries to get the right video. So far, we've created some really impressive looking video clips, but we can take things even a step further by upscaling the video resolution. I'm going to use the Topaz AI upscaler for this. You'll need to download it yourself and install it on your computer. After you've set it up, just drag and drop in your video files into the software. I'm going to shift click to select all my video files at once. Then I'll head over to the right menu bar to change the upscale settings. We'll do 4K video for super high resolution. Then I'll change the AI model from the default Proteus to the Rhea upscaler, which gives better quality. Then inside the export settings, you can change the codec. If you're going to edit these video clips, change it to ProRes. Then hit export and it'll upscale all the video clips you've selected. Topaz does require a decent computer to run. I've got a gaming laptop so I can run it just fine. But make sure you check the system requirements so you know you can use it before purchasing because it is expensive. But you get what you pay for. And there it is, super high quality cinematic videos created using Kling AI. If you want a more detailed guide on prompting in Kling AI, go and watch this tutorial I made over here.